when I start recording or creating, I always take an extremely long take, no cuts, and I just sing whatever comes out of my body. Hi, I'm Khalid, and this is Behind the Stage. Just understand that as a creator, growth, growth is super important. And where you are now is not where you'll be five years from now. But if you stop because that one person told you that the song wasn't good, then you'll never see the future. You'll never see the music that you could create years from now. I listen to my demos from years ago and I cringe. I cringe. It's a feeling that never changes, especially when you're an artist, you're always your toughest critic. I'm looking forward to push my voice further, be more hands-on playing the instruments, my songwriting evolving. I, I just want to experiment. I just want to step outside my comfort zone, step outside the box, try new things, because like I said, making music is like playing at my own personal playground. For me, El Paso just brings me a sense of nostalgia and home. When I first started creating music, I actually started writing in El Paso. In my early stuff, it, it definitely filtered a lot through my music. I gained my experience through the city, through driving around with my friends, listening to music. Um, I've created songs here that have changed my life. I created location in this studio, so. The inspiration around Better, I love music that you can drive to. The car is my favorite place to listen to the music. Hearing it again for the first time today, super surreal. It's just one take, just took one take, uh, knocked it out, knocked out the melody. Some days I have my moments where I'm in the studio and I'm in it and I make a song in like an hour to three hours. Some days I come to the studio, I get absolutely nothing done. I don't punish myself for that though. It comes when it comes, it's supposed to be natural. It's supposed to be something that you feel within you. If you're not feeling it, don't push it, don't rush it, don't put pressure on it. I like to just move like water. You just flow, let it flow, go with the flow. It'll come to you. The inspiration for Scenic Drive came to me planning this El Paso trip. And it was one of those names where I'm like, what do I do? What do I name this EP? I wanted to name it something that makes me think about El Paso, uh, especially since my first EP is named Sun City. So I really just wanted to continue to showcase light to the city. One day it just came to me a thought, uh, scenic drive. It embodies that, a nighttime drive on scenic drive, seeing all the lights, being with someone that you love, even being by yourself. I always get lost in the stars when I'm up on Scenic Drive. It's an amazing place to be. Sometimes I have nothing to say at all. Sometimes I leave the songs and I come back to them a month later and boom, all the words, I feel them, I, I, I hear them. A lot of the time when I'm singing these melodies and I'm singing these long melody takes, I'll go until lyrics start to form. And if I don't have an idea of the lyrics, I'll stop. Lyrics are important to me. I wanna tell a story, I want people to understand me and get a chance to know who I am as an artist, especially through the lyrics. That's the most important part. For everyone, I feel like the hook is the one that grabs your attention. It's like ear candy, sticks. Then I move over to pre-hook, hook, optional, pre-hook. The verse to me is where you can express yourself a little bit more. Tell your story, further your story, build a scene. Once I feel like I have the verse, I'll stick with the verse and then the words come later. Yeah, the outro is just like a roller coaster ride that you just, just ride that wave. I love writing everything. I love writing everything, but I'm always open to writing with songwriters. One songwriter I really love, Sarah Ahrens. Victoria Monet, so many amazing songwriters. The other day I was actually just hanging with my friend Quinn and just hopping on the mic and just singing whatever you feel and just letting it flow. You hang around uh, rappers, they punch in a lot more. And then you start punching in. You hang around songwriters, they always have a pencil and a pad with them, especially writing with Alicia Keys. She always has a pencil and a pad. She's always like, all right, what do we hear here? What do we hear here? Songwriting should be fun. You should be around people that you feel comfortable having fun with.